Now, long before the days of TV celebrities like David Blaine and Darren Brown, a magician and psychic was performing stunts that drew similarly shocked gasps from bystanders in Kent and around the world. The great Marlowe wasn't averse to burying his female assistant alive in a box to demonstrate his psychic tricks back in the 1950s. Now, the great Marlowe was actually born in Edinburgh. He literally ran away from home at the age of 12 to join the circus and uh, he became known as the British Houdini, modelling himself of course on the stunt performer and one of his best known tricks did indeed involve burying his assistant underground in a box in Tunbridge an act captured on film in 1952. Alex Beard has more. Into the castle grounds at Tunbridge in Kent comes a car on a sinister mission. Two men and an 18-year-old girl have arrived in that car and don't shudder, but the girl's about to be buried. An illusionist's arrival drew a crowd and a news crew back in 1953. Let's introduce you before she's tucked up on a little wooden box. She's Georgette, Marlowe's adopted daughter. Why he chose his daughter and not his wife for the experiment, Marlowe wouldn't say. But back at the spot where his grandfather performed, his grandson... Would. She wasn't too keen on the act. Maybe she suffered from a little bit from claustrophobia. So this was an assistant. Caught, um, the great Marlowe, my grandpa, called her the, his adopted daughter. She did spend time with us in our, in our house, lived there for a while. The great Marlowe started life as an escapologist before he began to use his own daughter as his assistant. But she was not his willing victim for this trick. Using his apparent telepathic powers, Marlowe sends a line from a book down to Georgette, who has a microphone six feet below ground. The oldest London playhouse. Blimey, they've had enough of that underground gossip. If they're not quick, she'll run out of air. My grandfather, when I saw him, when he was on the way on stage and uh, around the country with my mother, um, when he was at home, always would hold up uh, cards and test me with, you know, psychic abilities and, uh, and that ran in the family. Family history inspired Marlowe's grandson to follow a career in palmistry. No glamorous assistant required. The mental and physical strain has been great, but she's done what she set out to do to prove that thoughts can be read. Alex Beard, BBC Southeast Today, Tunbridge.